Saggies. Hello. Your girl is back. How are you guys doing today? Grand rising to all my beauties and beauters. The beauters is for the guys. So it's your girl Miss Hawaii. I've finally settled into my new place. So just waiting on the furniture. So right now I'm doing the reading on my little day bed. I got the little rose in the back for you guys. This sage is burning. I hope you guys can see. Hold on, put it right here. Yeah, you can see it. All right, Saggies. Um, a few things to say before I start the reading. Uh, firstly, don't forget to request a personal reading. You can email me at misshawaiireadings at gmail.com. Also, don't forget to like the video if it resonates with you. And don't forget to leave me a comment and let me know how it does resonate. All right. Let's see what's going on, my Saggies. Let's see, how are you feeling in love, Sag? The Five of Wands. All right, I'm using the Sluttis Tarot, all right? So for a lot of you, I'm seeing the Five of Wands. I'm seeing drama in your love life right now, Saggies. Some of you, I'm seeing a lot of conflict. I'm seeing drama. I'm seeing a lot of people. I'm seeing you feeling bounded. Um, what else is going on in my Saggies? How else is my Saggies feeling in love? I want some of my Saggies feeling in love. The Eight of Coins. The Eight of Pentacles in reverse. You're not putting much work into your love life right now. I'm seeing Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Seeing Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. I don't see you working very hard. I see you working hard on yourself, Sag. That's what I see. Investing in yourself. Working on yourself. As opposed to a love, you know. Okay. I'm seeing a Knight of Pentacles here. That's Taurus and Virgo Capricorn energy. So somebody, somebody coming in for you. Okay. Um, moving very, very slow. But somebody that wants something stable with you and secure. Okay, let's see what else we got for my Sag. How else is Sag is feeling in love? Definitely see your person coming through. Okay, if that's not nobody coming in for you, a Knight of Coins. Um, ooh, King of Cups. Somebody else popping up here. A Scorpio. Could be a Cancer or Pisces, but somebody here doesn't have to be that got love for you. Serious love. The Wheel of Fortune. Ooh, Saggies. I feel like things are going to change for you, for the better in your love life. A lot of good things are going to be coming to you. I see a Knight of Coins and I see a King of Cups. I don't know if this is the same person. It looks like two different energies from what I'm getting. The Two of Swords. Mm, you may have to make a decision soon, some of you. Make sure my music is playing. Yeah, some of you may have to make a decision soon with the Two of Swords, Queen of Wands, and Reverse. Uh-oh. So I feel like, Saggy, some of y'all are not feeling real confident right now in your dating life and your love life right now. Um, I see two people coming in. Could be one energy. I see things changing for you in your love life. With the Wheel of Fortune, I see things changing for the better. I see um, good change, unexpected things happening good things um i see destiny i see fate i see soulmate some of you are going to be meeting your person very very soon um the two of swords that could mean a decision that could mean a decision that you have to make that you're going to be kind of unsure about could be between these two people some of you could be two people that you're dealing with um one is only a night though if you are dealing with two people, the Taurus Virgo Capricorn is coming up as the knight. So I don't see this person as being 
they're stable, they're secure. The Knight of, I love the Knight of Pentacles, okay? But they're also a little immature compared to the King of Cups. The King of Cups, this is the king. You know what I mean? This person is compassionate. This is uh, someone that's intuitive. This is someone that's into their emotions. This is somebody who loves you um, and who may, it may be a bit difficult to express sometimes. Um, for some of you, this may be the same person. This may be the, the same person. Um, perhaps could be a Taurus Virgo Capricorn or it could be a Cancer Pisces Scorpio that is coming in pretty slow with you. Um, but they do love you. Um, and things are going to change. Okay. I still see the two of swords here though. There's something either that you're not seeing or there's something you're trying to figure out or you're trying to uncover. You're trying to make a decision about something. So let's go ahead and clarify these now. It's too late. Show me the, show me this knight of coins, please. The four of pentacles. This is somebody that's really gonna be holding on to you tightly. More Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy. I feel like this person that Knight of Pentacles is holding on to you tightly. Could be somebody from your past, possibly, that's not letting you go. Um, could be someone that's a little possessive of you. Show me this Eight of Pentacles in reverse, possibly. What is that? So that is the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Back to that Knight of Coins, that could be somebody that you're holding on to too, Sag. Could be somebody that you're holding on to, a Knight of Coins. Somebody you're not letting go of, possibly from your past. Or that could be how the person is feeling about you. Now with the Eight of Coins in reverse and with the Ace of Pentacles clarifying it in reverse, this possibly, I don't feel like you putting a lot of work into your love life right now. Some of you, this is a, you feel like this was a missed opportunity. Some of y'all don't want a new beginning with this specific person. Nine of Wands in reverse with the Five of Wands. I feel like you are tired of the conflict. I feel like you giving up with fighting. You don't want to fight no more because the Five of Wands is about conflict and you're getting that clarified um, by the Nine of Wands in reverse. So that shows me like you don't want any conflict right now put this out because sometimes sometimes the sage start burning all crazy me and the sage be fighting sometimes can you see it hmm? is that fine okay yeah back to the reading <laughs> put it right here though because I'm You can see it still, yeah. <laughs> Don't pay me no mind. I'm just making sure the sage is coming over here. Yeah, clearing out the energy. Okay. Hold on, y'all. I do not want this smoke alarm to be going. If I just moved into this place, I don't want no goddamn problems. All right, I think that's better. The Nine of Wands in reverse, that's like somebody who doesn't want to fight anymore. So I feel like you don't want to fight anymore. Um, you don't feel like the conflict is worth it in your love life. You want peace. Show me this King of Cups, please. Who's this King of Cups? Some of y'all are lacking confidence right now or not even determined when it comes to love. You might not even see some of these people coming in. 
the Eight of Wands. Whoever this King of Cups is, they're going to be coming forward and sending you a message or taking some type of action towards you, this King of Cups. Because that's the action card, Eight of Wands. That's a message coming in or them showing up at your door or them coming to see you. Some type of move they're going to make. Show me the Wheel of Fortune. The Eight of Cups. I feel like things are going to change for you in your love life when you walk away from things that no longer serve you, people that no longer serve you, and things that no longer serve you. Ten of Swords in Reverse. Yeah, you're healing, Sag. You're healing. Some of you are healing from a lot of betrayals. Some of you are healing from people that have done you wrong in the past. Um backstabbers, all types of betrayals and deceptions and love that you've been through. Some of you are healing from that. The Knight of Swords. There's going to be big change here. Ten of Cups in reverse. Okay. Some of y'all, something's going on here. Yeah, you want your home. Two of Cups in reverse. I feel like you, with the Ten of Cups in reverse and the Two of Cups in reverse, some of y'all... Y'all feel like you're home, like you're not getting it happily ever after because you don't have your ultimate love. So right now you don't feel like you have your, the Ten of Cups is like the happily ever after card. So right now you don't feel like you have your happy home, your happily ever after. Right now, and the reason why you don't have that is because you want to be with the person you're supposed to be with. You want to be in love and you want to be married and have kids and all that, you know, the whole schmeal. Or you know what you want. But I feel like this person, I feel like you got two people coming in here. Let's see. How is this person feeling? Show me who is coming into Sagittarius for love. We're not even going to say this person because some of y'all got two people. So show me what's coming to Sagittarius. Who's taking it out Sagittarius in love? Show us about them. Straighten that. Go. Let's see. Show us who's coming in Sagittarius. Who's coming in for Sagittarius in love? Who's coming in for Sagittarius in love? Oh my God. Oh, the star. Oh. The Five of Swords in reverse, the King of Wands in reverse. Somebody that's not taking direct action as of yet. I see, I see somebody is wishing for you, Sag. They're thinking about you hard. Some of y'all, this is somebody that you had conflict with and they want to reconcile with you, but they're not taking direct action at the moment. King of Wands, that's Leo or Aries or Sagittarius. But I feel like the Five of Swords in reverse, the King of Pentacles in reverse, the Eight of Coins. Show me what else. I've got to clarify some of these. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Okay, I'm seeing a few people coming in for y'all, Sag. I'm seeing a page coming in, a page of pentacles. Somebody probably younger than you for some of you. I'm seeing some of you. I'm seeing a king of wands. Like I said, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I'm seeing a king of coins. Um, a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn coming in. Let me just clarify these. star with the king of pentacles some of y'all gonna be dealing with somebody that got money honey somebody that wants something stable with you and secure with that's secure with you somebody that's very grounded okay some of y'all dealing with an aquarius but i'm seeing a lot of taurus virgo capricorn 
that king of pentacles that's taurus right there show me this five of swords please in reverse the ace of pentacles in reverse you got that again um whoever you had this conflict with this five of swords in reverse this person wants to reconcile with you. This is somebody that feels like it's a missed opportunity. You were a missed opportunity. To more Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Show me the King of Wands in reverse. Judgment. This King of Wands in reverse is somebody possibly from your past. Yeah. Possibly. Some of y'all were living with this person. Um, judgment. This person is not coming forward because they're... They feel kind of guilty about the past. And that just shot out. The Three of Pentacles. But they want to come together with you, whoever this King of Wands is. Listen, some of y'all Sagittarius, y'all got a lot of people coming in here. Show me the King of Pentacles in reverse. That's that King of Pentacles again. You got a King of Pentacles so far and a King of Wands. Nine of Wands. This is somebody that <laughs> they willing to put up the battle for you. They love you. King of Wands in reverse. Again, this person loves you. Could be the same person. Could be the same energy. Because I saw the King of Wands again on the bottom of the deck. Could be the same person with just two different energies. Um, Some of y'all could be the same person. Somebody from your past that you had a lot of battles with. Um, battles meaning it was a lot that happened between you guys but this person wants to give it one last try with a judgment card they blame themselves they feel bad about what happened um, and the three of pentacles that's them wanting to come together with you all right and then for some of y'all others of y'all y'all dealing with two different people all right king of wands in reverse somebody that's not taking any type of action right now towards you because they feel bad about something that happened in the past all right but they do want to come together with you and then you got a king of pentacles here Somebody that's grounded, some a little bit controlling could be Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, um, that wants to give this one last try with you as well. Show me the eight of coins. The six of coins. Wow. Somebody's going to be giving a lot into this relationship. More Taurus and Virgo Capricorn energy. Somebody's going to be giving a lot into this relationship, um, Sag. With the Eight of Coins, that's working hard on it. And then the Six of Pentacles, that's them giving to you, to you, giving towards the relationship, an equal give and take. Let's show me the Princess of Coins, which is a page of Pentacles. The King of Wands in reverse again. This is the same person. So this King of Wands in reverse, whoever this is, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, could have that in their chart. Um, doesn't have to be. But this is somebody who's not taking direct action from your past, possibly, or somebody who's judging themselves about something that happened between you guys. Um, could have been a third party with Three of Pentacles, possibly, but doesn't mean that. Um, that usually could mean just wanting to come together wanting to collaborate then you got the page of coins on top of the king of wands so i feel like this person they care about you like they love you a lot i feel like they really think a lot about this relationship whatever happened between you guys but i don't see them taking action yet i feel like they're gonna be moving mad slow but the page of pentacles is a good card to get it's about a good message coming in swift news Show me the Ace of Swords in reverse. Why is the Ace of Swords reversed? No truth in something. No communication about something. The Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles. The Ace of Swords. It's somebody that you're not talking to, I feel like. Some of y'all, this there is somebody that you're not talking to right now. And I feel like for some of you, this person, you and this person coming together, y'all gonna be like a power couple. With the 10 of Pentacles, I feel like y'all gonna have stability. 
y'all gonna have like the six of swords with the nine of coins. Whoever this person is, this person is single at the moment and I feel like they're gonna be coming towards you. Two of Pentacles in reverse. They're in balance without you. More Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. And I feel like with the Six of Swords, that's like wanting to be on, you know, calm waters with you. You know, sailing towards peace with you, wanting to keep calm waters with you on top of the Nine of Coins. So I feel like this person sees you as sexy, independent, single, doing your thing, making your money. You're really taking care of yourself and this person knows that they're imbalanced about it they see you as the empress wow they see you as the empress whoever this is sexy like i said and with the nine of coins the nine of coins is like the mini empress so them seeing you as the empress and the nine of coins that's like they really this person's really really attracted to you they really could see you as being the mother to their child i'm seeing the justice card some of y'all are dealing with a Libra and the Six of Cups. Some of y'all, this is definitely somebody from y'all past. All right. Um, but I feel like whoever this is, they want they want to keep it fair with you with this relationship. I feel like they're in balance, but I feel like some of y'all, a lot of y'all, this is somebody from y'all past. A lot of y'all, this is somebody from y'all past. Um that wants to come in they're not taking direct action as of yet um but i see they do want something stable and grounded with you for sure um and some of y'all they see y'all as the star some of y'all could be dealing with somebody that's actually is a star but i feel like this person is wishing and hoping and trying to keep the faith praying that y'all will come together 